uh, what's the deal YouTube it's your boy next gen 720 and I am back with another video if you haven't checked out my last video the link will be down below basically touching the very very sensitive topic of, of Microsoft allegedly vetoed a the box art for Fable it wasn't even Fable 2 it was Fable 3 hold on one second sorry about that supposedly vetoed the box art uh, for Fable 2 because it was a black actress, they wanted to put a back a black actress in the front. Actually, it wasn't even Fable Two; it was Fable Three. But anyway, um, and like and to me, I was right. It was offended by it because you know, being honest, first of all, I think it's dumb as all hell. Being a gamer, gamers don't walk into the store and say, "You know what? I'm not going to buy Jade Empire because uh, this man here looks Chinese and I don't like Chinese food." Gamers don't think like that. Never swayed my purchase. I'm just, like, I just think the dumbest shit in the world, man, you know, um, gamers don't think like that, you know what I mean, you know, I don't think so, but anyway, like I said, to me, it's like I said, just, it was very offensive to me, if that was the case, if it did happen, allegedly, you know, um, then, like I said, we don't have any proof, but if, it, if that was the case, someone, then like, come on, like, this is 20, this is not 1859 anymore, like, you know, I, I would think that us as humans, have come further than that. This is the people, even as Americans or whatever the case. But not even just all around, around the world, period, you know. But like, it is what it is. Like I said, I touched on that. Like I said, I gave Microsoft two days. Um, not saying they had to respond to me personally. One guy said, What do you want, Microsoft? No, I'm just saying that to address the issue. These are some very, you know, allegations. Like, this is not horrible. You know what I mean? I'm just being real. So, like I said, if you guys don't understand that my integrity means more to me than the actual console. Or some video game shit, like you guys are bugging, like you know, like I'm not with that shit there. But anyway, so that's what the video was about. A lot of you guys didn't even listen to the video, you know, just went off and, you know, because the internet is full of a bunch of faceless cowards, man. Uh, and also, too, yesterday, congratulations to Miss Next Gen 720, aka Chanel. She graduated from Seton Hall and got her master's uh, yesterday. Uh, so, like I said, um, I've been out of the loop for a little while. Like I said, I, my, my grandmother's not well. I told you guys I was trying to acquire a piece of property. Um, wife's, you know, finishing up with school. Like, there's been a lot going on within our and within my household. So, like I said, I've been out of the loop. So, anyway, shout out to my boy uh, Warrior What too. Uh, but anyway, shout out to my man Mooch. So, me and Mooch was having a conversation on the phone. I believe it was with Thursday or Friday, and we got to talking about. Um, I don't know if he said he heard a rumor or. I don't. I don't know, but he was talking about you know what if the PlayStation Four. Uh, releases in you know 2017 and he was I guess kind of talking about uh, you know I guess maybe with Microsoft chances or you know if that did be the case uh, but anyway uh, it kind of got leaked by a French um, retailer that Sony is looking to launch the PlayStation 4 Neo by September of this year now which makes sense again because like I said according to the email that I read and it's like I said I hate but I know what I'm gonna say, say this According to the email that I read, any game releasing after in October and forward has, if you want your game to pass certification on the PlayStation 4, you know, when you if you want to release a game on our platform, you have to have a base mode and a neo mode. And then in the neo mode, the games are you know going to have a higher graphic fidelity, you know, better frame rates, higher resolution, or not a higher resolution, a higher frame rate, but definitely a higher graphic fidelity going forward. Now, they're not saying that games have to go back and be patched now. No, going forward. You know, so everything they release from October on has to support that. Now, according to this, like I said, this, the, the console was supposed to come out in uh, by this year, September of 2016. Um, put this right here. By September, the blue light is. <laughs> by September, you know, 2016, I got picked up the Uncharted here. Um, so, try, try I'm here to see what all the hoopla is about. So it has to, like I said, about uh, September 2016, and, and can and can you know you know Microsoft answer this? I know a lot of you, not a lot of you, a lot, I, I, and not to sound like a broken record. When I tell you guys, you'd be surprised to watch this, your video. A lot of you pro Xbox dudes are saying that they don't know why Sony's releasing a, a more powerful console. They're already getting 1080p. It's not just about resolution. We're talking about all across the board. A higher graphic fidelity. If he doesn't know what that means, then games will look better graphically compared to the PlayStation 4. 
But some of you guys are fooling yourself. It's not going to be that big of a difference. To put this to you in layman's terms, the PS4 is 1.8 teraflops. This PlayStation 4 Neo is 4 teraflops plus. That's a lot of power. So even better, the Xbox One is only 1.3 teraflops. So you talk, you know what I mean? You just listen to what I'm saying. And like was told to me, you know, these guys are, I guess it's wishful thinking that you think the developer has all this power up under the hood and not touch it at all. Like you're bugging. Some of you guys are saying, well, it has nothing only to do with VR. Okay, cool. But I don't care. I'm, I'm not going to say I don't care about VR. Because I mean, maybe I may try it. But I, I'm talking about multi plats are going to look better graphically. You know what I mean? Some of you guys are saying, well, oh my, you, know, you keep thinking about this Microsoft console, and this is going to be a slim. A slim does nothing. Right now, the Xbox One, take whatever one you want, Mike. Take whatever one you want. Take whatever one you want. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. Um, I kind of lost my train of thought there. So, I'm being a bother. so anyway, I'm sorry. Um, if I repeat myself, please forgive me. This, this video is five minutes later. This is just made some stuff for my daughter, so if I repeat myself, please forgive me. Uh, but anyway, um, shit, hello, Isa. Okay, Neil. So, so for say that developers not going to use utilize this power, which we think, and a lot of you Xbox guys are saying that Microsoft is just releasing Slim, and I tell you this, a Slim does nothing. Um, and some of you guys said, let's think about it. the Xbox One right now is three hundred and fifty dollars. It went back up. Yes, it went back up to three fifty. Um, this rumorly this PlayStation 4 Neo was going to be $400. So you can buy a console that's four times as powerful, three or three times as powerful, three and a half times as powerful for $50 more. It's you no know, no one's going to be looking for a slim where you can buy a, a console with all this power up under the hood. Just being real, you know. Um, that's just being like I said, you know, a slim does nothing. Now, what Microsoft could do. Um, like I said, it was heavily rumored last. I'm sorry, in 2014, uh, from a, a, a from a YouTuber. Uh, he doesn't have a big channel. I'm gonna say this. Isn't, I don't have a big channel, but I'm because like I said, I know people. And he knows someone's also. He got the. If you know what I'm, if let me tell you this information, you may know what I'm talking about. But he gave he um, way before uh, Fallout 4 was announced, he gave the release date and everything. And it was correct to the T. He has some other stuff about Square Enix and Final Fantasy. He's been on point with those. But according to him, from somebody he know within the loop, that Microsoft was looking into releasing a mid-range Xbox One. I'm sorry, a low-end Xbox One, a mid-range, and a high-end Xbox One. Now, according to the FCC documents or whatever, the elite filings, that Microsoft has two patents. You know what I mean? They have two patents. Um, so maybe this may be the case because they're working on two projects. We don't. I don't know what it is. Some of you guys keep saying the slim shits. Maybe the Xbox ones we know right now, that would be just the plain and simple one. Maybe they may come out one, one on par with the Neo. And maybe a one that's a little bit more powerful than the Neo. You know what I mean? I don't know. But they're working on two platforms. Two two different, you know, the two platforms. Two different hardware things, you know. Um, but a Slim does nothing. Because, let's be honest, the biggest thorn in Microsoft's side is the whole 900p, 720p. No one's talking about DRM anymore. No, week after week, day after day, Digital Foundry, 900p, anti You know, like I said, this generation has not been about games. And, and the reason why you guys say some of you Sony guys, what do you mean it is about the game? No, we're not. We don't. We don't. We're not arguing who has the better exclusives. Not we, but most people are not arguing who has the better exclusive. You know, what I mean, you guys are talking about one version is 900p and counting blades of grass. This whole generation has been plagued with that. So developers are listening. Uh, console manufacturers are listening. You know what? They want power. Let's give them more power. But not even so much that, though. I, I think as console gamers, we have to get out of the mindset of us being confined to a box for five to seven years and then got buy a new one, you know, and then start all over again. That's not going to be the case anymore. Probably after these console here, the ones after this, after the Neo and whatever Microsoft come. They're gonna most likely be upgradable consoles, you know, where you can just add something to it along the way. Cause look at what Nvidia just did, and 
they released a GTX 1070 and a 1080. The 1080 for $379 is more powerful than the Titan X. And I always tell you guys that the technology is forever moving forward. Like, like it is. But that's if that's not telling you. That's that's not telling. Just last year, and how much is the Titan X? How much is the Titan X is going for? Well over a thousand dollars. You know, uh, actually, the regular Titan was at eleven hundred. So you got a Titan X, Titan Z. You understand what I'm saying? Um, you know what I mean? But technology is forever moving forward. So to think that you can have this five, buy this box here for five years, and you know, it's kind of like holding gaming back. You know, it it is at the end of the day. Now both consoles are x86. Uh, I don't think that's ever going to change. I don't know what Nintendo's doing. Um, and that's kind of been a problem um, that even going from the days of the NES which was really really popular to the Super Nintendo which was really popular but the install base shrunk from the NES to the Super NES to the Nintendo 64 to the GameCube the install base shrunk 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 and then of course with the Wii it was like a fad because that appealed to non-gamers and then what we see what happened with the Wii U and even I watched him said himself that Nintendo doesn't do well at do doesn't do well at competing. Like I said, for those of you guys that don't want new consoles, don't want new hardware, cool. You don't have to buy it. But you can't be mad and scuff you know if somebody else chooses to buy one. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I keep hearing we'll piss gamers off. Why are you mad about what someone else buys? You know, and if somebody said, you know, people buy consoles because they want everything f fair and even. No, it's not the reason why people buy consoles. People buy consoles for the simplicity of them. This you can sit on your ass, put a game in, plug and play, and keep it moving. That's why people buy consoles because they didn't want to deal with mouse and keyboards. They didn't want to deal with drivers and going patches. They want to sit. They want to, you know, people do consoles because you sit on your ass, you put your game in your in your console, it's guaranteed to work. And it's not like that with Steam. I remember I bought so many games from the summer Steam sale, and like four of them didn't boot up or whatever the case, and I kept getting the, the blue screen it does and all this stuff. Can't call Steam. You know, they you know they don't have a number for you know had to send in an email and had they had to he got back to me three days later. Could you imagine a mom and pop? You know, you go buy a little Billy sixty five dollar just say Call of Duty whatever sixty five dollars and little Billy go to play it on his PC and the shit keep booting and crashing. Like I'm like, don't want to deal with that shit. But that's why consoles are for being because people like the, the the ease of them, the simplicity of them, plug and play. That's why, you know. But some people don't want and cool. You don't have to. You don't have to. And still enjoy the same games as us. But I think this is gamers have to get under the mind state of us buying a console and it's gonna be on the market for five, seven years, you know, with this it no. You know. I'm cool with it, you know what I mean? At the end of the day. It's not to be paid five thousand dollars to console for I mean, again I'm not I understand what may be cheap to me, maybe a lot to others, but you can trade your your, your PlayStation four in or whatever Xbox in. And get the store credit and put it towards the new console. Or don't have to do nothing and still enjoy the games. If you like the way the games look now on your TV and you're having fun with it, fine, keep that. But again, Microsoft has to answer. And I'm really intrigued, besides me being an Xbox fan, or what are they going to do to combat this? Like, what are they going to do? You know, like, this is the big, like, Microsoft back is really against the wall. Like, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? And so, so before seven, in September, uh, the, according to this, um, this website here, the PlayStation 4 Neo will be on the market. But this is your boy, Next Gen 720. I'm going to give you guys my first impressions of Uncharted 4. I'm going to in a little while and look up. We're not doing uh, BGST tonight. It will be tomorrow at 8 p.m. Um, Tim has some stuff going on. The show's not going to be by tomorrow, too. He doesn't work. So it should be a good show tomorrow. We're going to be doing call-ins like we used to do. Uh, but anyway, this is your boy, Next Gen 720. I'm out of here, man. Bang.